Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Good morning, we brothers and your sisters. Protection, o Holy Mother of God, do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Saint Joseph, Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please all stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ teaches us that He is our light in times of darkness. He is our hope in times of despair. And so, to prepare ourselves to celebrate these mysteries of God's hope and love for us, let us first acknowledge our sins and ask the Lord for His pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you raised the dead to life in the Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. 
Lord Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, Grant your people constancy in faith and hope that we may never doubt the promises of which we have learned from you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, some Jews from Antioch and Iconium arrived and won over the crowds. They stoned Paul and dragged him out of the city, supposing that he was dead. But when the disciples gathered around him, he got up and entered the city. On the following day, he left with Barnabas for Derby. After they had proclaimed the good news to that city and made a considerable number of disciples, they returned to Lystra and to Iconium and to Antioch. They strengthened the spirits of the disciples and exhorted them to persevere in the faith, saying, it is necessary for us to undergo many hardships to enter the kingdom of God. They appointed presbyters for them in each church and, with prayer and fasting, commended them to the Lord, in whom they had put their faith. Then they traveled through Pisidia and reached Pamphylia, after proclaiming the word at Perga, they went down to Atalia. From there they sailed to Antioch, where they had been commended to the grace of God for the work they had now accomplished. And when they arrived, they called the church together and reported what God had done with them and how he had opened the door of faith to the Gentiles. Then they spent no little time with the disciples. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Let all your works give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Making known to men your might and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is a kingdom for all ages and your dominion endures through all generations. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. May my mouth speak the praise of the Lord, and may all flesh bless his holy name forever and ever. Your friends make known, O Lord, the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Please all stand. had 
to suffer and to rise from the dead, and so enter into his glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Peace I leave it, I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give it to you. Do not let your hearts be troubled or afraid. You heard me tell you, I am going away and I will come back to you. If you loved me, you would rejoice that I am going to the Father, for the Father is greater than I. And now I have told you this before it happens, so that when it happens, you may believe. I will no longer speak much with you, for the ruler of the world is coming. He has no power over me. But the world must know that I love the Father and that I do just as the Father has commanded me. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. In the Gospel reading today, Jesus observed that his disciples' hearts were troubled. They were not at peace. Ang kanilang mga puso ay hindi payapa. Bakit kaya hindi payapa ang kanilang mga kalooban? Because Jesus told them that he will be going away. The disciples' hearts were troubled because they do not know what is to come for them. Nag-aalala sila, ano ba ang parating para sa amin? Ano kaya ang hinaharap? They were troubled because they do not know what the future holds for them. Pero mga kapatid, sino nga ba sa atin ang hawak ang hinaharap? Sino ba sa atin ang nakakaalam at nakasisiguro ano ang mangyayari sa mga darating na araw Darating na buwan at darating na taon. No one holds the future. No one among us know what the future holds for us. That is why Jesus tells his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled of what the future holds for you. Instead, Jesus assures them that he may be going away, but he will come back. He will be going to the Father, and the Father is greater than all. Jesus assures them that yes, you do not know what the future holds, but we have faith in the one who holds the future. Maaaring hindi natin alam ang parating para sa atin, pero alam natin sino 
ang may hawak ng parating na panahon. Walang iba kundi si Jesus. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, let us entrust our future to the one who holds the future for us, none other than Jesus himself. That is why in our first reading today from the Acts of the Apostles, the apostles went around the different cities they were preaching the good news. But they were not just teaching them, they were strengthening them. Strengthening them in the faith, teaching them to persevere. As the apostle said, it is necessary for us to undergo many hardships. But they appointed different presbyters to go around the cities, commending them to the grace of God, strengthening them in the faith in God. Maaaring may pinagdaraanan silang mga paghihirap at pagsubok, pero ang mga alagad ay pinatitibay at pinalalakas sila sa pananampalataya kay Jesus ang tanging nakaaalam kung anong mangyayari sa parating na panahon. My dear brothers and sisters, yes, we do not hold the future. We do not know what the future holds for us. But we have faith in the one who holds the future. Let us entrust the coming days the coming months, the coming years, let us entrust the future to the one who holds it. Amen. Please all stand. Our risen Lord's greatest gift to us is the peace which the world cannot give. In His name, let us ask the Father for all our needs. For every petition, let us say, Lord, grant us your peace. Lord, grant us your peace. That the leaders of the church may strive to bring people everywhere in mutual understanding, cooperation, and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord grant, grant us your, your peace, peace. That peoples of all nations may work for justice and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord grant, grant us your, your peace. peace. That those who are troubled, afraid, and anxious may find true peace and happiness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord grant, grant us your peace. peace that peace and love may reign in our homes and workplaces. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord grant, grant us your peace. That the dead may enjoy eternal peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord grant, grant us your peace. peace. Lord God, grant us the peace we need. Help us to make peace with ourselves with our neighbors, and most especially, with our enemies. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
please all stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant church, and as you have given her, cause for such great gladness. Grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifices of old to fulfillment in the reality of the cross. And by commending himself to you for our salvation, showed himself the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim holy holy holy, holy, holy lord, lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest please kneel You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me
Please all stand. The Mystery of Faith Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you. My peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am, I am not worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, roof but, only but only say, say the, word, the word, and, and my soul shall be healed. healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. 
I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please all stand. Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you were pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit and may Almighty God bless all of you the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Good
지나치니 리달해 아내를 